Hello healthy friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel Health is Important in this video. We will discuss 7 types of acne and how to deal with them. Before we continue to the topic of discussion, please click the subscribe button and click the ringing bell button. Let's get into the topic of discussion. Acne is a skin disease due to excess oil production and accumulated dead skin cells. As a result, clogged pores and pimples arise. For healing efforts, you need to know what types of acne are on human skin. Types of acne Normally human skin will secrete oil through the sebaceous glands or sebum. These glands are connected to hair-containing ducts or commonly called follicles. Sebum glands that cannot release oil properly into the skin due to blockages and skin pores will form blackheads. If the comedones burst, acne ensues. Most people usually have a different type of acne. Below are the most common types of acne. One, Whiteheads Blackheads are a primary type of acne. That is when oil and skin cells mix and clog pores Blackheads are the first things that appear before forming pimples. If the pores are closed and you see small bumps that are white or flesh-colored, these are white comedones. One of the causes of this form of acne appears to be hormonal changes. At certain times, namely puberty and menstruation, the amount of sebum or oil produced in your pores increases. As a result, the pores are clogged and trigger whiteheads. These closed comedones can also occur in areas that experience a lot of friction, such as the chin or jawline. 2. Blackheads Blackheads are a type of acne that rises to the skin's surface, so the pimple's tip is black. The black color at the tip of the pimple is caused by increased skin pigment, not because of dirt or dust, so it can't be cleaned. Like whiteheads, blackheads can appear anywhere from the face back to and chest. This form of acne is also caused by the accumulation of dead skin cells, excess oil production, and bacteria that clog pores. Various factors trigger these three things to happen cause of black comedones acne, ranging from not keeping your face clean to taking certain medications. Please consult a doctor to get the proper treatment for blackheads. 3. Papules In people with more significant acne, the type of acne experienced may be papular acne. Papules are small red bumps on the skin. This type of acne occurs due to a blockage that does not reach the skin's surface and dead skin cells accumulate. As a result, the hair follicles also experience pressure which can cause the follicle wall to rupture. If this happens, sebum and trapped bacteria will spread to the surrounding tissue. This eventually triggers redness, swelling, and pain in acne pimples. Papular acne usually appears when blackheads, both black and white comedones, are left alone. As a result, inflammation of the comedones occurs and irritates the surrounding skin cells. 4. Pustules are Similar to papules, Pustule acne is a type of acne resulting from inflamed comedones. Pustule acne usually appears marked with a red base bump and a white head tip. In addition, the pimple contents of the bumps are filled with pus. The pus pointed to a spot on his upper skin, which formed a white spot. Pustules and papules often appear together and cluster in large numbers. If this happens, you are experiencing acne with a reasonably severe condition. This type of acne is part of a disease known as inflammatory acne, which is already inflamed. It's best to avoid squeezing or picking at the tip of a pimple filled with pus because it can cause stubborn acne scars. 5. Nodules Those of you who have nodule acne may need to be careful. This type of acne that experiences inflammation is included in severe conditions. The cause of acne on this one is the same as other acne. It's just that this type of acne occurs due to inflammation that penetrates the deeper layers of the skin. As a result, 
the formation of denser and larger lesions ensues. In fact, acne nodules are said to cause quite disturbing pain. Try not to squeeze these pimples because they will leave acne scars that are hard to get rid of later. Six, cystic acne. Acne is a type of acne that occurs due to the accumulation of oil and dead skin cells in skin tissue deep in the hair follicles. If inflammation in the skin tissue occurs, large lumps form. Swollen pimples can continue to grow in size because they are affected by a bacterial infection in the top layer of the skin. As a result, cystic acne appears red, larger, and filled with pus. Almost similar to nodule acne, cystic acne also causes unbearable pain. If not treated immediately, inflammation will break down the pores, which can spread to the surrounding skin tissue. Widespread inflammation eventually triggers new. Seven, sand acne. Acne sand acne is a small pimple that is not yet developed. This type of acne is generally not visible, but is felt when touched. Sand acne can include various acne types, including blemishes, whiteheads, and pimples. You may see it as a regular pimple with one to two bumps. The leading cause of sand acne is skin irritation due to excessive pore pressure, heat, and friction on the skin. When skin friction continues, the surface becomes rough and pimples develop. Types of acne based on their location. After identifying the different types of acne, from mild to severe, it's good to know that acne doesn't only occur on the face. The cheeks are the most common area for pimples to grow, but these bumps can spread to other areas of the body, such as acne on the body, including the back and neck, chin, forehead, scalp, buttocks, and vagina. Acne severity. Apart from being distinguished by type, acne is divided into several categories, mild, moderate, and severe. Generally, comedones and inflamed lesions are divided separately. Mild acne, comedones less than 20, inflammatory lesions less than 15, total less than 30. Moderate acne, comedones number 20 to 100, lesions total 15 to 50. The number of acne cases is approximately 30 to 125. Severe acne, the skin has less than five cystic pimples, total number of comedones less than 100. The number of inflamed pimples is less than 50. The total number of pimples on the skin is less than 125. Can severe acne be treated? Reporting to the American Academy of Dermatology. Severe types of acne, such as cystic acne, can be treated. Even so, acne treatment needs to be under the supervision of a specialist or dermatologist. Here are some treatments that doctors usually recommend for severe acne. Combining acne antibiotics and their medications reduces redness and fight bacterial infections. Isotretinoin is a powerful drug for attacking the four causes of acne, bacteria, clogged pores, excess oil, and inflammation. Special birth control pills for women are used to control the development of acne. Spironolactone for women reduces excess oil production. Inject corticosteroids to shrink the pimple and reduce pain. After you see signs of skin healing from acne, acne skin care is still needed. However, your type of acne treatment may change based on current conditions. Most people can get rid of acne with proper skin care, either with natural ingredients or medicines from a doctor. The reason is without this treatment, acne can reappear quickly. If you have further questions, please consult a dermatologist to find the right solution. Well, those are the seven types of acne and how to deal with hope the information is helpful for all of you. If you care about health and like video topics about health, please click the subscribe button and turn on the ringing bell. So you can get notifications if there are any of the latest videos from this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.